the Joe Rogan experience. And it's just, I mean, there was this thing with Vox where Carlos Meza was uh, minimizing um, the the impact of Antifa and kind of joking around about it and making it seem like it's just no big deal. And he got really upset because Steven Crowder was making fun of the fact that he's gay and the fact that he talks with a lisp and that Crowder mentioned that along with mocking his stance on Antifa. And then it became this gigantic thing that Steven Crowder is a gay basher. But what didn't become a big deal is that this guy is minimizing violent fascists. And that's what, I mean, that's how I feel about this. When you're trying to enforce your own ideology on other people and you have no tolerance for anybody with a differing opinion, particularly journalists, that is fascism. It's so ironic to call yourself an anti-fascist when you're literally enforcing your own particular ideology to the point of violence and you're wearing masks and you're running around hitting people and pretending that you're being inundated with Nazis and white supremacists and that this is all necessary. Like that old man that was just driving and they're directing traffic and forcing him to ob obey them. And then when he doesn't want to, they chase after him and assault him. It's fucking bananas. And the fact that this city has not stepped in and recognized that they have a real problem because this has got momentum behind it. And the people that are involved that are nonviolent, you got to speak up. They've got to speak up. If you're a person that really believes that there shouldn't be homophobia and there shouldn't be violence and there shouldn't be white supremacy, good for you. You probably got involved in this for all the right reasons. But if you don't recognize that someone like you yourself, who is... A person of uh, a different ethnicity, you're not a white person, you're Vietnamese, you're a gay man, and you got assaulted for no reason. You didn't do anything. I mean, it's almost like a test of where do your values truly lie. And if you think it's okay for a person like you to just get assaulted for no reason, you are the problem. You're the problem. Your mindset is the problem. It's not whether or not there should be white supremacy. Of course there shouldn't be. It's not whether or not there shouldn't be people be able to freely express themselves. Of course there should be. That is not what the issue is. What the issue is is group mob mentality. When you get people together and you let them wear masks and you tell them that they're fighting against some evil and then they feel justified in hitting a person like you. It, it is really sickening. And there's this diffusion of responsibility thing that happens when one person hits you and everybody feels like it's okay to hit you. It's a mob mentality thing. And it's, it is extremely common with human beings. I've, I've been in mob situations. It's terrifying because you feel it in the air. You feel the chaos in the air when you're in some sort of a, a, a large scale brawl type situation. Like anything can happen. People just run up on people and start punching them. It's not like two people alone in a in a, in a in a like an open area where they can talk and work things out. No, it's chaos and there's some weird animal activity. There's some weird weird animal instinct aspect to it that is very unique to humans. And when you see something like this and see a guy like you just getting peppered with milkshakes and punched in the head and it's fucking disturbing. And for these people to dismiss that and not stand out, not stand up and say, hey, this is not what we're supposed to be about. This is not what I signed up for. They become a part of the problem. I'm sure there's people listening to this that are upset at this. Because maybe you 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 support Antifa, you support their ideology. Think about what you actually support. Think about what this is really all about. What you shouldn't be supporting is people wearing masks, running around fucking hitting people. You ain't changing shit with that. All you're going to do is call for more people with masks from the other side. If people feel like right-wing people are being attacked, and, and I don't think you're even right-wing, are you? I mean, what are what would you? Just, what would, if you had a gun to your head or a mace to your face, <laughs> what would you, would you, would you say you're a centrist? What would you say? I think it's fair to describe me as center-right. Center right, okay, which is fine. It should be okay. I mean, there should be. We should be allowed to have disagreements of ideologies and of political persuasions, political um, leanings. But this is it's twisted, and it's twisted the way it's being depicted in the media. It's very strange how it's being dismissed. It's very strange, and that there's really people in 2019 debating whether or not it's okay to assault journalists. It's fucking madness. <laughs>